A massive transformation is happening in South Texas that could change how America builds bridges forever. Rising from the waters of Corpus Christi Bay is a structure taller than a 50-story building and longer than any cable-stayed bridge in the nation. This isn't just another bridge project, it's a glimpse into the future of American infrastructure. The New Harbor Bridge started at $806 million and is now $1.3 billion. It was supposed to take four years, but has taken nine. Yet this engineering marvel could revolutionize how America tackles its crumbling infrastructure crisis. When construction began in August 2016, Texas officials promised the new Harbor Bridge would be completed by spring 2020 for $806 million. Today, that same bridge costs $1.3 billion and won't open until June 2025. That's a 61% cost increase and a five-year delay. To put this in perspective, that's enough money to build multiple major sports stadiums or fund entire highway budgets for smaller states. But the money is just the beginning of this story. The new Harbor Bridge will span 1,661 feet across the Corpus Christi Ship Channel, standing 205 feet above the water. Those twin concrete towers rising from the channel will support a six-lane highway plus a pedestrian walkway, all held up by massive steel cables in a fan pattern. When complete, it will be the longest cable-stayed bridge in the United States. The existing Harbor Bridge was built in the 1950s when the world was very different. Ships were smaller, traffic was lighter, and safety standards were lower. That old bridge provides only 138 feet of clearance, which met World War II standards but creates a bottleneck for today's massive cargo ships. Modern container vessels and oil tankers literally cannot fit under the current bridge at full load, forcing the port of Corpus Christi to compete with one hand tied behind its back against other Gulf Coast ports. This height restriction isn't just an inconvenience, it's an economic disaster. The port of Corpus Christi handles billions of dollars in cargo each year, from oil exports to military equipment. When ships can't reach their full capacity because of bridge clearance, it drives up shipping costs and pushes business to competing ports. The new bridge's 205 feet of clearance will finally allow the largest ships in the world to reach Corpus Christi at full capacity. But getting to this point has been quite a journey filled with unexpected challenges. The project's biggest twist came in March 2018, when a pedestrian bridge in Florida collapsed, killing six people. We have more breaking news this hour, this time out of Miami. Come take a look at your television right now. This is a pedestrian bridge that has collapsed at Florida International University. You can see a search and rescuers are there on the ground right now assessing the situation. What we that bridge was designed by FIGG Bridge Engineers, the same company working on the Harbor Bridge design. When federal investigators found that FIGG's design errors caused the Florida collapse, Texas officials knew they had to act fast. In 2019, the Texas Department of Transportation made the tough decision to replace FIG with a new engineering firm. This choice meant months of delays and millions in redesign work, but safety had to come first. The real challenge came in July 2022, when an independent review found five major design issues that needed fixing before construction could continue. These weren't small problems. Engineers discovered issues with how the bridge would handle strong winds during construction, questions about structural stability, and concerns about whether certain parts could support the massive weight of the concrete segments. Construction had to stop immediately, leaving a half-built bridge rising from the water as teams worked to solve these puzzles. For over a year, the bridge sat waiting while engineers, lawyers, and government officials worked together to fix the design problems. The contractor, Flatiron Dragados, and Texas officials had different views on what caused the delays. Meanwhile, Corpus Christi residents wondered when their new bridge would finally be finished. The financial impact of these delays was significant. Every month of delay added millions in costs for workers, equipment, and financing. The state eventually paid a $400 million settlement to resolve disagreements with the construction company. While that's a lot of money, it cleared the path for work to continue and prevented years of legal battles that would have cost even more. What makes this story interesting is how common these challenges are with big infrastructure projects. Major construction projects in America often face cost increases and delays. The Big Dig Tunnel project in Boston and California's High Speed Rail project both experience similar growing pains. The Harbor Bridge follows a familiar pattern where initial estimates meet the reality of complex engineering challenges. Part of the challenge lies in how these projects get started. Politicians love to announce big infrastructure projects with attractive price tags to build public support. 
engineers and contractors know they need to provide competitive bids to win contracts. This creates a natural tendency toward hopeful initial estimates. Once construction begins and real challenges emerge, the public is already committed and costs often grow. The Harbour Bridge also shows how complex modern infrastructure has become. This isn't just pouring concrete and laying steel like in the old days. The new bridge must withstand hurricane force winds, handle thermal expansion from Texas heat, and support loads that would have been unthinkable when the original bridge was built. Every design choice requires computer modeling, environmental studies, and safety analysis that adds time and complexity, but also makes the final bridge much safer and longer lasting. Meanwhile, the construction method itself is truly impressive. Workers use a technique called balanced cantilever construction, where concrete segments are lifted into place by massive cranes and then connected with steel cables. Each segment weighs dozens of tons and must be positioned perfectly. The entire process happens 200 feet above a busy shipping channel where cargo ships worth millions of dollars pass below. And somehow, they make it look easy. The cable stay design isn't just beautiful, it's the smartest way to span such a massive distance without building supports in the ship channel. Those iconic towers and cables transfer the weight of the bridge deck to solid foundations through carefully calculated tension and compression. When complete, the structure will support not just daily traffic, but also serve as an evacuation route during hurricanes. The economic benefits extend far beyond Corpus Christi. The port handles crude oil exports that help America's trade balance. Military equipment moves through the port to support operations worldwide. The petrochemical industry relies on the port for raw materials and finished products. When the old bridge created shipping delays or capacity limits, it affected the entire economy. The new bridge will unleash the port's full potential. Texas officials are now confident the project is back on track and moving toward the finish line. The main span connection was completed in January 2025, when workers installed the final concrete segment, a major milestone that took years to achieve. Cable installation is proceeding smoothly, and traffic should begin flowing by June 2025. The old bridge will be carefully demolished soon after, finally completing a transformation that began nearly a decade ago. But the real test will come when trucks, cars, and pedestrians begin using the new bridge daily. Will the design hold up to Texas weather and heavy traffic? Can the structure last the promised lifespan? And most importantly, will the economic benefits justify the massive cost and delays? The Harbor Bridge project also raises bigger questions about American infrastructure. How did a country that built the interstate highway system and Panama Canal become unable to complete major projects on time and on budget? Why do other countries build similar bridges faster and cheaper? What needs to change to prevent the next Harbor Bridge disaster? The answers matter because America faces a massive infrastructure backlog. Roads, bridges, airports, and ports built in the mid 20th century are reaching the end of their useful lives. Climate change is making storms more severe and floods more common. International competition requires better connections between cities and ports. The Harbor Bridge reveals how America has lost some of its building know-how over the decades. The engineers who designed the interstate highway system back in the 1950s and 60s are long retired. The construction companies that built famous bridges like the Golden Gate Bridge have changed hands many times. Today's infrastructure teams often lack the deep experience that once made American construction projects world famous. This knowledge gap shows up in predictable ways. Design problems that experienced engineers would catch early become expensive fixes during construction. Construction methods that worked on previous projects get reinvented from scratch. Lessons learned on one project rarely transfer to the next because teams break up and companies reorganize. The Harbor Bridge's cable stay design shows this problem perfectly. Cable stayed bridges have been built successfully around the world for decades. The engineering rules are well understood and construction methods are proven. Yet the Harbor Bridge team ran into design problems that should have been solved much earlier. Either the engineers lacked experience with this bridge type, or the project's scattered structure prevented proper knowledge sharing. Some experts think the problem is scattered responsibility. Too many agencies, contractors, and politicians have input without clear accountability. Others point to overly cautious engineering that over-designs structures beyond what's needed. Still others blame a legal system that encourages fights and settlements instead of working together to solve problems. But here's the exciting part. The Harbor Bridge shows what America can still accomplish when it commits to big projects. Yes, it took longer and cost more than planned, 
but this bridge will be genuinely amazing when it opens. The engineering is world-class, the design is stunning, and the economic benefits are real. Corpus Christi will finally have infrastructure worthy of a major port city. The bridge stands as proof that America hasn't lost its ability to build incredible things. The workers installing those massive concrete segments 200 feet above the water are doing something remarkable. The engineers solving complex wind load calculations are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The project managers coordinating thousands of moving parts are orchestrating a symphony of modern construction. When ships start passing underneath with 205 feet of clearance instead of 138 feet, the economic impact will be immediate. Larger cargo vessels will bring more trade. The port will compete better with other Gulf Coast cities. Jobs will be created and the local economy will grow. More importantly, the Harbour Bridge offers valuable lessons for future projects. The problems weren't caused by lack of money or technology. They came from project organisation issues and communication breakdowns that can be fixed. Future projects could avoid these problems by putting design and construction under single management. Better upfront planning reduces costly changes during construction. More honest initial estimates prevent the cycle of cost overruns and delays. The bridge also proves that America can still tackle massive engineering challenges. Building a cable-stayed bridge across a busy shipping channel while keeping traffic flowing isn't easy. Managing hurricane force wind loads, thermal expansion from Texas heat, and the precise positioning of 950-ton concrete segments requires world-class expertise. The fact that it's nearly complete shows American engineering and construction skills remain strong. But here's what makes this bridge truly special. It's becoming a model for how America can fix its infrastructure crisis. The construction techniques being perfected here could speed up future bridge projects across the country. The safety systems developed after the Florida bridge collapse are now being used on projects nationwide. The project management lessons learned from the delays and cost overruns are already being applied to other major infrastructure projects. The Harbour Bridge is testing new materials and methods that could make future bridges last longer and cost less to maintain. The concrete mix being used is designed to resist saltwater corrosion for decades longer than traditional bridges. The cable stay system uses new steel alloys that are stronger and more flexible than ever before. These innovations won't stay in Texas. They'll spread to bridge projects from California to New York. More importantly, this project is changing how America thinks about infrastructure investment. For too long, politicians have focused on ribbon-cutting ceremonies and short-term costs instead of long-term value. The Harbour Bridge shows what happens when a community commits to building something that will serve multiple generations. Yes, it costs $1.3 billion today, but it will generate economic benefits for the next century. The economic ripple effects will extend far beyond Corpus Christi. When the port can handle larger ships, it creates competition that drives down shipping costs nationwide. Lower shipping costs mean cheaper goods in stores from Dallas to Detroit. More efficient ports mean American exporters can compete better in global markets, creating jobs across the country. The bridge is also becoming a symbol of American resilience and innovation. After facing major setbacks, the project team didn't give up. They solved problems, learned from mistakes, and pushed forward. This spirit of persistence and problem solving is exactly what America needs to tackle its massive infrastructure challenges. Consider what this means for the future. America has tens of thousands of bridges that need replacement or major repairs. Many were built in the 1950s and 60s and are reaching the end of their useful lives. The techniques and lessons from the Harbour Bridge could help rebuild America's bridge network faster and more efficiently than ever before. The project is already inspiring other major infrastructure investments across Texas and beyond. Other states are studying the Harbour Bridge model to improve their own projects. The Federal Highway Administration is using this project to develop new guidelines for cable-stayed bridge construction. International engineering firms are sending teams to study the construction methods being used. When the bridge opens in June 2025, it will immediately become one of the most important infrastructure assets in the American South. But its true impact will be felt for decades as the innovations and lessons from this project spread across the country. The Harbour Bridge isn't just connecting two sides of Corpus Christi. It's connecting America's infrastructure past with its future. As the Harbour Bridge nears completion, engineers have discovered something remarkable in their final tests. The bridge can handle far more weight and stress than originally designed, opening up possibilities for even more ambitious projects. The construction methods perfected here are already being studied by engineering teams planning the next generation of American mega-projects. What they've learned about building in hurricane zones, 
managing complex logistics, and creating structures that last for generations could transform how America rebuilds its aging infrastructure.